Hello SGD, Sacred Geometry Decoded. Uh, this is not, that's a piece of red granite. I'm also going to put some white quartz there. So the purpose of this experiment, not even, exp it's a confirmation of well-known principles and facts in science that just sort of seem to escape the lost high technology people. So I'm just going to make an abrasive to uh, for grinding stones or for polishing stones. And it's the same principle as fire setting or thermic shock. If you heat up a stone, even just a low campfire will destroy granite. You see all this damage across Egypt as well. It uh, has all the traits of fire setting. There's no need for a cataclysm. But uh, I'm also calcining sand um, at this point, but that's not relevant for the experiment. So I just did two hits in one. I'm putting in uh, white quartz pebbles and a piece of granite, burning it. I've shown it in previous experiments and I'm turning it into a dust. So the fire alone will break the granite. Now you can see that this granite has been fire treated just by hitting it with a stone pounder. I, I break this granite up in no time and the purpose of that is to turn it into dust, to turn it into a powder, to use that as a fine polishing abrasive. So I'm liter literally making it from, from step one, most primitive of all tools. And here's a fact that as to, you probably, if you've ever heard Lost High Technologists, they always bring up Mohs scale. They got it completely wrong. Like cuts like. So if you, if you ever hear them say it needs diamond technology, uh, we're just going to prove that incorrect. And they should sort of know that as well, given that time in there. So that's how, and there's some other granite dust. I just pounded that up. And then with the same technique, I put it in water, pour, mix it up, pour out the water. The small particles get... Uh, are floating around in the water. I also broke up, well, I missed a clip there, but white granite. Very Once your fire set it, it's done. It's, it's uh, ready to be broken very quickly to break that up. So this is the um, piece of granite I'll be working on, and I'll be doing the side to the left of centre there. That's just crushed uh, quartz, the fine powder, mixed it in water. The... Um, the very fine particles, because that what you need for polishing is these really fine particles. That's just standard practice still now, and we'll just be using a wood block to polish that again. The abrasive does not go out. It does not go out of order. The more you use it to polish it, the abrasive will actually break up into finer particles and becomes more more valuable. So I'm using quartz um, in this. Here we have crushed quartz, uh, both times I'll just be um, rubbing for only for 14 minutes to begin with and we're going to get a, a reflective surface and again just I'm using a small handheld block there because I only want to work that part of a stone I could use a much larger block and cover a much much larger area in the same time or alternatively if I was polishing a statue for instance the details in the eyes or the ears I, I can't you know the surface area so I'd get a small round stick and I'd work it get a stick that matches the shape and work it into there um, but a large surface for instance the Baraba caves I've done other experiments grinding down rough granite to flat granite uh, it just will not take a long time it is just a fact with my noobish skills give me a wall uh, even that's a rough wall and I'll tell you exactly how long it will take to do it and I won't need fancy materials I'll get either the granite or the quartz, or if I have access to emery, I'll use emery to do it. It's just not an issue. 14 minutes of polishing, it's all sped up. Uh, now, we have the wet look here, so it's still wet, but already you can see it has a beginnings of the mirror finish there. Um, that has to do with applying a sealer, so still a lot of polished granite that you'll see now is actually honed sealer, so just like the granite that I have there that just had a sealer applied to it. Um, but the wet look is, it's, uh, have, have the Baraba caves been sealed? I don't know, but um, that's not the, we're looking at dry. So there you can even just see how dark it is. I was surprised how good, I should have known this from, uh, other, but we can see that left of centre portion, it's got the reflective um, surface in it as well. So this fine powder, gives you the reflective surfaces only 14 minutes you'd, you'd do it a little bit longer you're going to get a, a better finish i'm just proving the the beginnings of it so now i had to that's all the broken um the 
granite that I just I crushed up with a stone pounder. Same thing, I put it in water, stirred it up, and then the, so you can even see, so as I pour the water out, you'll see around towards the edges, but there's already a, a fine paste there that's um, ready to be used for the polishing. And so this is exactly the same thing, but instead of using quartz, I'm using granite, and this comes back to the point meant by a lost high technologist. All the time you'll hear that uh, diorite requires diamond or granite needs a, a stronger mineral to cut that. It is just not true. Like cuts like. Rub, if, if it was true, then there would be no way to polish diamond because there's nothing stronger than, than diamond. There's nothing harder than diamond. So it's, it's very important to the lost high technology narrative to insert this. It's impossible. It can't be done. Well, if you've never experimented, never put your hands on stone, then, then how the hell do you know in the first place? But even you could just do rudimentary research to, to find these things out. And, and the, the burden of research uh, is on them, especially because of the, uh, the way they talk about others not acknowledging facts and, and details. Well, uh, this is why it's so censored, these types of things, and why the lost high technology community won't engage, and why it's necessary to be upfront. Um, and, well, you know, yeah, that's, that's just the way that they operate. Um, and uh, zero knowledge of the basics, and, and on top of that, zero research. Everything I'm doing here should, it's, it is well established. It's not even, it's an experiment and a, that I'm repeating and proving well-known facts that that, uh, that come back to this point. So even in older texts, we know that they imported um, fine sands for, for the polishing, and it's still done now. So it's, I'm using hand power, modern machine, you, I mean, modern technology is exactly the same, but it's just using a big buffing machine with uh, high revolutions, uh, faster work rate, and and lower labor costs. So that's, that's exactly the same principle. Nothing has changed. All across the world, you'll find mirror finished, highly pol polished granite and all sorts of other stones. For some reason, Morian polish has been elevated to this mystic level of unachievable. When you just go through it, just go to a historic building, historic graveyard, and you'll see high polished stone everywhere. I don't know why Morian polish gets. Okay, now, there are 14 minutes, granite on granite, like cuts like. Uh, same result, even time there with the emery, but I wouldn't have to import expensive emery. Granite cuts granite. Limestone cuts limestone. Diamond cuts diamond. And if it's harder, then it'll cut everything below it. So uh, 14 minutes, I'm getting the reflective uh, surface and starting to get a mirror finish. Mirror finish is something different, but we're well. once you've got a reflective surface such as this, you're well on the way. And just a reminder, we did the same with quartz. What gives diorite, basalt, or granite? It's most hardness. It's the quartz inside the diorite, the basalt, the, uh, <laughs> the granite. The, when you hear these stones elevated to, you know, uh, impossible lost high technology, it's, oh, it's neat on. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Never got their hands dirty once in their life and they haven't even researched the topic on one, what's well, well established. So uh, like cuts like, granite cuts granite, quartz cuts of them all. There's nothing exceptional or miraculous about diorite it's just like the other stones as well so and uh let's just do a quick tour of most scale to end it because it's it's just this narrative that just keeps running through the lost high technology community it's completely false it's not even not even poorly researched just zero research zero experimentation but they do need to rely on this quasi-mystical elevation of stone into adamantium and vibranium and it can't be done and you need to have diamond to do it but well how does diamond get cut how does diamond get polished like cuts like it's it's not difficult it's geology 101 okay so you'll always hear lost high technology they'll talk about Mohs harden scale and brian foster all of them will even talk about dolerite balls and that they're less on Mohs scale than granite therefore they can't work absolute rubbish most hardness scale has to do with abrasives what scratches what it's, it's not about toughness of a material because dolerite hammers are just tougher than granite even though they're less on most scale but um okay let's just look at rule number one with most hardness scale 
like cuts like. You don't need to do a geology course to do that. If you rub sandstone against sandstone, granite against granite, if you just rub two things together, you realize that one cuts the other. That you don't need to be a, a geologist to understand that. But it's about what scratches what. And quartz will scratch quartz, diamond will scratch diamond. And it's obvious, diamond is used as an abrasive to cut and to polish diamonds. Whether you're cutting or polishing, you're still doing the same thing, you're cutting it. You're using abrasion and you're scratching it. Um, if, diamond, if diamond technology was needed to work lesser minerals such as diorite, then how the hell is diamond cut? No, so this just goes to the lost high technology, uh, either complete ignorance or, 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 or uh, intentional desire not to learn these things. And of course, they can't go back on their previous claims because that's their, their house of cards is built on a foundation of sand. And once, no pun intended, and once that's, the sand starts shifting, the whole house collapses. So they've got to circle the wagons and protect that. But... Um, so diamond is 10, that's at the top of the scale. The scale is, uh, corundum is nine, that does not mean diamond is 10% uh, or it's not even logarithmic scale, it's just, it's just relative scale. But granite is, is around seven, six and a half to seven and a half depending. But it's, the reason granite is so high on most scale is not because the granite is tough, it is because there's quartz in the granite which give it its strength. Granite, strictly speaking, doesn't have a hardness scale. It's the individual minerals in there. Um, that, but what's the toughest mineral in granite? Quartz, that's why we get quartz up there. Uh, no drama to work, granite, um, cut, drill, polish, just no drama at all. You don't need diamond, you don't need corundum, you just need granite. I've done exper drilling experiments with quartz, sand, um, and that's all that's necessary. Uh, another one that always comes up is, impossible lost high technology of diorite still in 2021 they're saying that you need diamond technology and projecting diorite vases as some sort of impossible to work material uh scientists against myth have someone currently working on a diorite vase using a wooden drill and sand it is just a nonsense and they know this as well or they're just it really incompetent um when it comes to the thing that they claim to be so interested in it I, it, def, it really defies belief because they're not dealing in facts um at all and when, when if you live in uh reality will never intrude on on delusion in or or uh, outright lies in some cases i don't know what what's in their mind but what they are is just whether it's intentional or accidental um, lying or, or honest ignorance they don't know what the hell they're talking about andesite is the same thing you'll hear oh, how do you work and you, you can't do it with this tool uh, just another nonsense andesite basalt uh, sandstone the softest crumbliest sandstone that you can break apart in your fingertips has the same Mohs hardness as granite diorite basalt slash andesite it's the quartz in there that gives it its hardness uh, so rule number one, like cuts like, quartz is in all those stones, don't be fooled about this diorite, um, mysterious, you know, it's impossible, literally in 2021 they're still saying it's impossible to work diorite without diamond, just an absolute nonsense. And uh, emery is not important for this one or corundum, but that's, it is um, up above. But with quartz or just by crushing granite, granite will work granite. Crush basalt, basalt will work basalt, basalt will work granite, andesite will work sandstone. Uh, it, there's, there's nothing to this. Um, it's it's a mystery. The only mystery uh, to me is why these people who spend years and, and decades in some cases promoting selling this are so ignorant of, of this topic. Um, I've done, like you can just do a hands-on experiment, cost you nothing, takes a few hours, or you could research and just look what is well known and well established historically, like it's not, it's, it's, it's not uh, a work in progress, we know what, what works, uh, it goes back to history and prehistory, but people knew what stone works, what other stone, kids will, I worked this out as a kid, playing around, you know, mucking around in the, in the parks and stuff, and uh so yeah so just uh 
these are the foundations that they build on. So they start with a fact like uh, diorite and requires diamond technology to do that. And then they build a case on top of a falsehood. So everything that gets built up afterwards, just it's just not true. It falls apart at the beginning. The, your foundation is the import, most important part and the foundation that they're living on is a house of cards to mix metaphors, a house of cards built on a foundation of sand. Um, yeah, so okay, we, you can prove and, and do these things. I shouldn't have to have to actually have to go and do it and show it. This is well known and that's to open it like Ben from Uncharted X recently did a video talking about flatness. He said to the experimentalists, I know he's talking to me, there's only a couple of us around here. Uh, I've already done those experiments. I'll do. I'll take them to be tested or whatever. But uh, mate, you gotta you gotta st stop selling 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 the rubbish. Um, you like? Are you interested in truth, uh, or do you want to? Are you interested in sales? And it's well, either way, uh, it's it's not my opinion. These are facts. You can be you can, easy to test. They cost nothing. And yet, for some reason, the lost high technologists are a, a experimental free zone. Uh, they're a research free zone because, again, I, I don't. I just did this just to demonstrate it. This is already well established. This is not some uh, cutting edge discovery that I'm I'm finding here. Okay, so with that, like cuts like. Uh, this nonsense with diamond uh, and and these other it, it is just a nonsense and it's the f what what lost high technology is built on and that is untruths uh, falsehoods deliberate or not it doesn't matter um, you know you still have a you have a burden of doing your research and being diligent and and being factual once you keep repeating bullshit then it's not you're no longer wrong you're a bullshit artist and that's what this is it, it, it is bullshit uh, and intentional bullshit because it, it will keep getting repeated age from years ago they're still saying the same things because if they start taking steps backwards they've got nowhere left to go they're going straight off the cliff and and that's the lost high technology <laughs> method um so uh, we'll look at lifting and some other stuff as well in upcoming videos. I'll do those as well. I've sort of covered it before, but it just it keeps coming back, and then they just keep doubling down with bullshit. And so, to the bullshit artists, which is what you are, because you if you you should know you're selling tickets, you're selling books, you should know this. No excuse for you not to know this. You pretend to be interested. This you know this is not my major. I'm this is not my major interest this is a side mini interest to me and uh any time they're willing to debate i don't need you know i don't need preparation time you can go five against one um, i'm willing to do that anytime you want um and uh, yeah but i know you won't because you're bullshit artists and you sell bullshit you peddle bullshit and you know and uh what you Doing life echoes in eternity, and if you're going to be a snake oil merchant, bullshit artist, uh, you call everyone else saying that they're ignorant and they won't accept the facts. Uh, well, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, must high technology. Just look, at the, they can't even get the basics right, uh, and it's remarkable. It is in, in its uh, it's bullshit. It's just plain old bullshit.